Okay, now we are going to learn more on tree diagram, table and also permutation and combination. Okay, so Venn diagram and also Venn diagram. So let's see the tree diagram. Okay, uh, a tree diagram consists of number of branches that illustrate all the pos possible outcomes. So from here, from the tree diagram, so you can see I already draw here. You can see the probability of the outcome. So let's say here we have A and A prime. Okay, so if you want probability of A, this is your probability of A. Okay, this is your probability of A prime. We are going to write the probability on the branch here. So, from this three diagram, you are going to have the probability of B intersect A. Okay, if you multiply this and this one here, you are going to get PB intersect A. Okay, here as you can see and if... For this one only, that will be the probability of B given A, the conditional probability, okay? And uh, as, I, as I said earlier, if you multiply PA, multiply by PB given A, if you multiply along the branches, you are going to get the probability of PB intersect A, okay? The same thing as the, the other branches, if you multiply... P A and this one here, you'll get the probability of P B prime intersect A. Okay, so we are going to see how to use the tree diagram in example 24. The probability that Sophia is late for college on any day is 0 0.15 and is independent of whether she was late on the previous day. So how are we going to do this? Since the question said independent whether she was late on the previous day, so we are going to represent the data by using the represent the probability by using tree diagram so we know that the sophia late and the sophia not late okay or on time the okay, l prime is on time l prime is on time l is late so let's say this is on monday okay, this one here represent monday so the question said whether she was late uh is independent of whether she was late on the previous day. So, if on Monday, Sophia late. So, on Tuesday, maybe she was late. Or maybe she will be on time. Same thing, if she was late on Monday, maybe she was late. She will late on Tuesday. And maybe she will on time. She will be on time. So, this one represent Tuesday or the next day. So, now... We only have the probability that Sophia is late for college is 0 0.15. So, here we are going to write 0 0.15 here. So, total for one branch here should be equals to 1 because your probability is equals to 1. Total probability is equals to 1. So, here we just take 1 minus 0 0.15. So, that should be 0 0.85. If Sophia is on time so how are we going to do this so we are still going to use the same probability 0 0.15 0 0.85 0 0.15 0 0.85 so let's try the first question find the probability that she is late on monday and tuesday okay on monday she is late on tuesday she is late okay not this one if you take this one here on Monday, she is on time. Okay, so what we are going to find here is actually P L intersect L. Okay, which is let, late on Monday, late on Tuesday. So what we are going to do is we are going to multiply along the branches 0 0.15 times 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.15, we'll get 0 0.0225. Okay, so that's how we do our tree diagram. So, let's try question B. Uh, probability that Sophia arrives on time on one of these days. So, either she arrives on time on Monday or on Tuesday. So, if she arrives uh, on time on Monday, she will be late on Tuesday. So, that will be L prime intersect L. P L prime intersect L. So... Or, if Sophia is on time on Tuesday, so that may be this one and this one. So, she has to be late on uh, Monday. So, that will be L intersect L prime. PL 
intersect L prime. Okay, so this is what it means by arrives on time on one of these days. So this one, Sophia arrives on time on uh, Tuesday. No, this one is on Monday. This one is on Tuesday. Okay, so this one on time, this one on time. So what we're going to do with the, these two probability, we are going to sum these two or okay so now just what we are going to do is is just multiply along the branches pl prime l is 0 0.85 multiplied by 0 0.15 0 0.85 times 0 0.15 plus this one is 0 0.15 times 0 0.85 and here we'll have the answer 0 0.2550. Okay, and the last question here arrives on time on Tuesday, knowing that she was late on Monday. Okay, if you can see, we already know how to find that probability if you understand this branch properly. But it's okay, we can just we can always use the formula. So the question said, knowing that she was late on Monday. Okay, so we want to find that Sophia arrives on time. On time is L prime. Given that she was late on Monday. Okay, so what we are going to do is we just use the formula P L prime intersect L over P L. Okay, so L prime intersect L. L prime intersect L is 0 0.85 multiplied by 0 0.15. And PL is simply 0 0.15. So here we'll have the answer 0 0.85. Is it the same thing as what we already find? What we know from the diagram PL prime given L. So which one is PL prime given L? As you can see here, L prime given L. Okay, this is L prime. This is your L. So that will be L prime given L. So this is 0 0.5. Do you have the correct answer? Yes. Okay. So next, we are going to see example 25. So we already did this type of question in the previous video. But now we just recap. There are 60 students in a certain college. 27 of them are taking math and 20 are taking biology. So you know what you have to do. How are we going to represent all these numbers? Is by using Venn diagram. Okay, so we have a Venn diagram, we have circle, another circle, okay, let's just, okay, I'm just going to copy this so that's easier, okay, so what we have here, there are 60 students in a certain college, so that means you know your number of sample space and S is equals to 60. 27 of them are ta taking maths. Okay, 27 of them are taking maths, which is this one. The whole thing here is 27. 20 are taking biology. So this whole thing on this side is 20. 22 are taking neither math or biology so we know that this is on the outside 22 okay so let's put this as math this is biology so what we don't have here is take both biology and math so we don't have this one here which is the most important thing so we are going to let that as x put that as x so here we have 27 minus x and here you're going, going to have 20 minus x. So we are going to find our x first. How are we going to find our x? Total student is 60. So we have this one plus this one plus this one plus this one. You should get 60. So we have 27 minus x plus x plus 20 minus x plus 22 equals to 60 if you rearrange correctly you'll get the answer x equals to 9 okay so 27 20 22 60 uh, 
Okay, yep, correct. Alright, so let's go to the first example. Find the probability that a randomly selected student takes both bio maths and biology. So what we want to find here is A1 is P M intersect B, which is we already find the number of M intersect B, which is equals to 9. So we just do 9 over 60, which is we have 3 over 20. Okay, second one. Take mathematics only. Okay. Takes mathematics only. Which is only this part here. So what we have here is 27 minus 9. Which is you will have 80. So number of math only. How are we going to represent math only? Is M intersect B prime. Is 27 minus 9. Which is we have 18. So, probability of M intersect B prime is equals to 18 over 60, which we have 3 over 10. Okay, question B. A student is selected at random. Determine whether the event taking math is statistically independent of the event taking biology. Okay, independent. Something about independent. What do you know? Something about independent. If the event is independent, your PA multiplied by PB is equals to PA intersect B. Okay, so that is what we know from independent event. So what we are going to find is PA intersect B. So let's find our PA intersect B, which we ha already have 3 over 20 here. So what we are going to find is PA multiplied by PB. Okay, from question A, from A... We have P M intersect B is equals to 3 over 20. So now we are going to find P M multiplied by P B. Which is probability of P M is taking mathematics is 27. So that will be 27 over 60. Taking biology is 20. So that will be 20 over 60 and here we'll have 27 over 6 uh sorry multiply here should be multiply so 27 over 60 multiply by 20 over 60 we have 3 over 20 so we can conclude that since pm intersect b is equals to pm multiply by pb Therefore, M and B are two independent events. So, that is how you show the independent event. Okay. So, last example. Let's see one more time. The permutation and combination. Okay. A committee is formed to investigate bribery in a ministry. The committee is picked from 9 ACA. Okay. So, we have 9 ACA. And four from NGO. That that is what we have. So the first one, there are exactly two ACA staff, two NGO. If the committee consists of four persons, so we only want four. A. Okay. Always find the number of sample space first. So the committee want four persons. So no restriction. Sample space is no restriction. So N S is equals to how many do you have here? Nine plus four is. 13. So 13 choose 4. We have 715. So that is your number of sample space. So the event are the event is exactly 2 ACA 2 NGO. Okay, so what we have here is NA. Let's put that as NA. This is event A. So we have to choose 2 from ACA, 2 from NGO. So that will be 9 C2 times 4 C2. So here we have 216. So probability of A is equals to 216 over 715. Okay, so let's see the second question. Five persons are selected. So number of sample space should be 13C5. And that will be 1287. Okay, now... The question said one ACA staff is the chairman. Let's choose that first. 
Okay, let's put this as event B. So, number of B is equals to one of the ACA staff is a chairman. So, from this nine staff, one is a chairman. So, we have to choose nine C1. Okay. And the next one, another one from ACA staff. Uh, sorry. As uh, such that one ACA staff is the chairman. Another is an ACA staff. Uh, okay all right so we have to choose another staff so from here we have nine aca we already choose one chairman so that will be eight so we have to choose another one so that will be eight c1 ac1 so this one here represent aca so the rest from the five persons that we want are all from the ngo so how many ngo do we have for how many we still want three okay because we already have one two from eca so we need three more from ngo so that will be for c3 so here we have two eight eight now to find the probability of b is equals to two eight eight over one two eight seven simplify we have 32 over one four three okay Right, the last question here is the number of ACA staff is more than the number of NGO staff if four persons are selected. Okay, so that's four persons. So find the number of sample space first. Simply just put 13C4, which is we have the same answer as A715. So if the question said number of ACA staff is more than number of NGO staff, we want four persons so we always start with what we want for ACA so how many NGO zero NGO okay so go down three ACA one NGO and you cannot have two ACA and two NGO so that will be like equal okay so now we just choose 9C4 times 4C0 9C3 times 4C1 okay here we have 1 to 6 here we have 336 three, so number of event c is equals to 126 plus 336 three, equals to 462 then to find the probability of c is equals to 462 divided by 715 and simplify the answer you should get 42 over 65 okay so that's all the examples for chapter 8 so make sure you know you understand properly for probability and uh, that's all thank you guys